Tonight News 4 Investigates continues digging for answers in the traffic stop between St. Louis Police and Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner. Gardner claims police held her for more than 15 minutes. News 4 has obtained video and it shows the Circuit Attorney's SUV traveling downtown and later an officer stopping Gardner. News 4 Investigator Chris Nagus is getting reaction to this exclusive story he broke on News 4 at 10 last night. On December 23rd, real-time traffic video captured this vehicle driving with no lights on Market Street. An officer initiated a stop. St. Louis police say the driver was Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner. Gardner spoke with the national media about the incident earlier this month. I was stopped for no lights but held for over 15 minutes, but I still don't know the reason why. By the St. Louis police Metropolitan Department. PD. Yeah. yeah, but it's okay. But those are intimidation tactics that are used to stop reform. Jeff Rorter with the St. Louis Police Officers Union refutes her claim. But well, she's not talking about it publicly. She's lying about it publicly. News 4 requested video of the incident, which shows the stop lasted just over six minutes, not more than 15 minutes, which Gardner has claimed on more than one occasion and on more than one media outlet. How long they hold you for? Over 15 minutes. Today, I requested another interview with the circuit attorney. The office responded via Twitter. The events of the night in question are worthy of serious attention, and as such, we will not address Mr. Rorda's incorrect account of what transpired. And then, in an emailed statement, the circuit attorney's office added, according to the police, it was a 15-minute stop, and the officer's statement is different than the one shared by Jeff Rorda. So I asked the police department about Gardner's latest claim. They say, we never stated she was detained for 15 minutes. The video provided clearly indicates the length of time spent by the officer. I can tell you that an investigator from the circuit attorney's office did involve himself into the traffic investigation for which he could have been arrested for interfering, but was not arrested. And now the Ethical Society of Police, the union representing the city's African-American officers, tweeted, we respect the circuit attorney, but the stop lasted six minutes, not 15 minutes, as the circuit attorney stated. The car had no headlights as seen in the video. We have some awful officers, but everyone has to be factual with all statements released. Another disagreement stems from the date of the stop. Gardner's office continues to insist she was pulled over on December 24th, that's Christmas Eve. Today, police disputed that information, clearly stating the stop occurred the day before on December 23rd. So even some of the most basic aspects of this incident remain in dispute between police and Gardner. Chris Nagus, News 4 Investigates.